I wanted to go back before I finish to look at the procurement. This is a very good website on the bottom, which is um, in the manual. But um, you can work on this website to look at the cost of procurement for various items. So I just picked one at random, which was vinyl gloves, large, pounds per hundred. Across the NHS, these are the different prices being paid for at the NHS for just a box of gloves. It's twice as the red ones there are paying twice what the ones at the bottom are. If he can leverage down the costs of products, why the hell can't the NHS? We are being milked by a bunch of private sector companies for which we could do an awful lot better, I suspect. The research that's done into staffing ratios is very poor and a little bit outdated. I'm not saying that we should reduce the number of nurses we have by the bedside, but I think we need to understand whether nurses are the right people to be doing certain jobs. 30% of nurse time in an intensive care unit is spent making up drugs. In Seattle, those drugs are made up by a robot in the pharmacy, delivered by robot and checked by barcode by the bedside. That means you could save 30% of your nurse salaries, or probably nearer 20, and since we're nearly always 20% short of the number of nurses we need, we might actually be able to employ the right number of people to do the jobs that we want them to do if we worked in different ways. 